Hey guys, we are here with a special episode, not really special, we're returning from a special episode. Previously we had the Jade Stroud special episodes, but now we are back and Adelaide has found the location of where Jade was transporting Luella. Once Luella reached the top of the stairs, Jade was waiting for her and took her to this location. Adelaide, quick on the spot manage to track them down to this location so we are going to do this episode fairly simply what's going to happen is Adelaide is going to fight Jade in this location in order to stop her and rescue her mother if however she loses then she herself will be imprisoned here if Luella then tries to fight for her freedom and wins she will get her freedom and Adelaide will then have to go again to earn her freedom. If however Luella loses herself both will remain trapped here and Kat, Alicia and Sophia will have to come and rescue them. So previously Marcos was turned back from a vampire into a normal sim just to remind you guys so, Bellatrix, however, has yet to make a move on what she is doing due to this occasion. However, they are still married, which means they probably will not be getting a divorce. However, saying that, they will probably not feature much in the following episodes. Of course, with new storylines, new things are coming and others will take in the place of the Davenports who were less than a recurring less than recurring characters. So we're just going to get straight on with it. We are going to get those guys to duel for Luella's freedom. I've got Luella going to watch. She will be out of the way. But with this let's begin strong start by Adelaide but from other fights in the past we know that that does not determine victory just because you have a strong smut uh, sorry can't speak oh and Adelaide lost they are both prime vampires and this says a lot because it surely shows the fact that the final battle may be very interesting because it appears that they are on equal levels right now. If not Jade being stronger again, Adelaide's got a good start on Jade. But as in the last battle, that doesn't mean much. Although it actually appears as if No, just when it was looking like Adelaide would win, she loses. So that's two out of three. And Sorry about that, having a bit of a problem. Um, yes, so... We were having that problem, so I forgot where I was going. Yes, um, Adelaide lost. Adelaide lost, she's now in prison, so Luella will fight for her freedom. 
I am not expecting her to win as she's only a minor vampire and Jade is a prime vampire so then has the superiority in that regard but regardless Jade falls but this could just be a slip Jade could literally just be overconfident and Luella is able to use that so oh, sorry about that lag they're having some major problems um, it's frame drops, sorry, not lag, because I'm not getting anything, but the camera seems to be picking it up. Um, yes. But, Jade loses for a second time, which means Luella has earned her freedom. She is able to leave whenever she so needs. However, that means Adelaide again has to fight for her freedom. If she loses this time, she will remain captive, Luella will return home, and it will be Kat, Sophia, and Alicia who come and rescue them. Because, of course, Luella has yet to meet them. There may even be an individual episode, if, of course, Adelaide loses, in which case Luella goes in search for her daughter's partners. And so, rematch begins. And again, strong start. But, does this mean the fact that she will lose again, having a good start? And no, this time Jade loses. Will losing to Luella mean that she loses her touch and will lose yet again against Adelaide so she too earns her freedom? Um, just however, Adelaide do does have the points, so the child of the night is something to consider. Because of course it is getting dark, both of them have it, and again, strong start by Adelaide. It appears that Adelaide gets um, strong starts very quickly, she's soon to be a master. Um, Yes, so she has earned her freedom. She has become a master vampire. So she is one step away from becoming the Grand Master, rivaling her with Jade's grandfather, which I can imagine she is not very happy about. But she has earned her freedom, fair and square, just as Luella has. And so, Jade can do nothing but allow them to leave, as much as she hates it. But she doesn't get a choice in that because I'm controlling her. Um, yes, so, Jade has lost their prisoner, which I don't believe seeing that she was responsible for Luella, as long as Luella doesn't do anything so publicly, Vlad should never have to know. And I don't believe Jade would be the one to admit her mistakes to someone as powerful as her grandfather. Not in this situation, anyway. So, um, from this point forwards, she will have to be making things up. Um, but, as for what this means with Adelaide becoming a master, of course, she has had two masters in the past. Her mother, Luella, as well as Kat, and it has changed so much since. She managed to stop Kat and become a master in her own right, but being a prime vampire, she always debated whether or not she needed another third master. And now she's reached the rank of master, she has become the master. To the point where she now has the ability to start training Cat, and Cat is 
centuries old. Well, centuries older than Adelaide anyway. But that also means she is now ready to begin teaching Sophia and Alicia. They are fledglings. But what's going to come with her powers? So, read through these. I, Unlike normal, I'm not going to go through them. I'll hover over them long enough to read. But I'm ending this part here. I'll be replacing this bit with music as I go through them. But that will be all for this part. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye guys. When you travel, you want your needs to be understood 